Hello everybody and welcome to Nathan on Shuffle and I've got a great album spotlight today. This is a new band to me that I've discovered and actually the band kind of reached out to me and so I wanted to cover their album because I really think it's fantastic and I wanted to give it the attention it deserves. So hopefully you guys will go check this one out. This is The Siberium and their new album Connected. So this is a new album for this year and it's it came out recently. I'm not exactly sure the date. I believe it was beginning of August or maybe even before that but Siberium is, is a new prog rock band from the Chicago area with great great instrumental players great musicians on both instruments and vocals really an incredible group that deserves more attention this is their second album actually so they have been around since it looks like they were founded in 2018 so relatively new band on the scene but they're really a band you know I wish I'd heard more about until now because they're just really expert players and really great at their their skill level so I think there's a lot of potential here and I could see this band going even further and really expanding and becoming quite a force in the prog rock genre so I'm excited to talk about them and about this new album Connected which really connected with me I, I I was really impressed by this and really the, the the best touchstones that I can mention for what the band sounds like to me they're probably one of their biggest influences is Rush I hear a lot of Rush in their sound they have that kind of style with great bass drums you know work that's kind of similar in a Getty Lee style vocalist so they have that kind of configuration and but there's also inspiration from like bands like Enchant, Porcupine Tree, even a little bit of maybe Dream Theater. They have this kind of heavy prog style, but it's never too metal. You know, I don't, I wouldn't really categorize this as metal, progressive metal, but I'd categorize it more as like a heavier prog that has some, some riffage, you know, some more, you know, distorted sounding guitars at times. But a lot of times there's a lot of melodic sections and they even have a lot of sections with some acoustic guitar and really lighter playing so it, it runs the gamut and creates a very good diverse listen to me but the standout of this band to me I mean they're all standout so I don't want to make other people pale in comparison to others but the bass and the drums really stood out to me uh, the rhythm section is just really fantastic the bass is just so so interesting you know there's a lot going on there and it just is really funky and has a good vibe to it but it's just really intricate and really ever present in the mix i just really appreciate the bass sound and the drums are, are really fantastic and show a lot of skill level so this band it definitely has a lot of skills at their instruments and it really comes to the forefront throughout the album and the album just goes from great track to great track it's it's even hard to kind of highlight the best tracks because they're all equally excellent. I, I, Interrogation Room B starts the album with some great acoustic guitar and that Getty Lee style vocals to start the album. Then they add in that bass and drums which I told you I really love and is really impressive and it really has some great stuff in the makes. The keyboards are interesting. There's a lot of sections through the album. I mean there are sections where there's some keyboard soloing and stuff and where you, the keyboardist comes more to the forefront. But I think through a lot of the album the the keyboards are very tastefully done. They're much more adding atmosphere and that's really apparent on this track. Just really atmospheric, you know, building building a mood and a vibe that kind of lifts up the, the tracks and, and gives this certain sound to it. So. I really appreciate that but yeah this this track that starts the album is a great showcase for the band shows all facets to them really in just one track with some cool that you know instrumental stuff that they do you know but also some great vocals and some great melodies and some fantastic heavier moments as well and that moves into the moral landscape which to me is the most uh, rush inspired song on the whole track list it really sounds like it could take place on, on kind of a modern day Rush album and but they lean in more with the heaviness I think than Rush would but some great guitar riffs funkiness to it even with that great bass grooves like I, I said 
and it just it gets even more intense and heavier as it goes so it's a fantastic track wake, wake up call kind of brings to mind some stephen wilson inspiration with the beginning with this kind of acoustic guitar strumming and stuff but of course like the other tracks it kind of leads to to more intensity as it goes sunset on mars almost begins as if it's a ballad but then there's a lot of power to it as it goes along and it just is, is a really great track with some some instrumental madness about halfway through the track and it's it's just really well well crafted these first few songs especially just really grabbed me right off the bat insanity is the one that i heard before i reacted to it in a new music friday that i really loved and hearing it in context of the album it's actually you know i think there's even stronger stuff around it but it's really a great track that kind of hits hard and and has this kind of cool vibe and and atmosphere kind of this dark vibe to it in the verses and then it leads to this kind of more ethereal chorus that i've always enjoyed so it's it's a great trade-off and some great riffs going on in in there so it's 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 a really cool track and be connected is kind of the big anthemic ballad of the album and it's really well well crafted some great keyboard playing some great piano chords that are really highlighting you know some great vocal work as well and so i think this is a highlight of the album kind of the big moment of you know this kind of epicness coming to the forefront and some great trade-off vocals between uh keith and and brian brian of course is the bass player and keith is the guitar slash vocalist and they do some great vocal work together towards the end of this track that i think is really great so really a highlight of the album on that one and then that leads to wild things which is a personal favorite because they really go all out with the instrumental stuff there's some proggy stuff on there that's even beyond some of the other things we've heard they really they really take the chance to to do this kind of cool section especially towards the end which has some some great keyboard work, some great proggy interplay between guitar and keyboard. And there's even a section where it kind of like the music stops and starts and, you know, it's it's twisty and, and you don't quite know what to expect. And that's when music gets really fun. And so I think that's a brilliant track. And then it ends with two really strong tracks that really signify the, their sound as well. Miles Away is kind of has this tool inspired drum pattern, atmospheric guitar, and it just it it's a longer track so it extends and goes towards different other sections as well but it's just showing a skill of the band and bigger questions is the same type of thing it just is a big long song with rocking section after rocking section there's another great instrumental section halfway through great riffs great singing some great harmony vocals also coming into the mix so it's just it's a fascinating album full of great great playing great singing really well constructed tracks and i like all their inspirations they're inspired obviously by a lot of the same bands that i love like rush and dream theater and enchant and porcupine tree and all that sound comes out but they're also able to put their own unique stamp on it this isn't just a copycat band by any stretch and i just i really thought this was an excellent album and really wanted to showcase it i i think they've really set the bar here for this kind of more indie style band that deserves more attention and i think they're going to get it because they're that good the album sounds really great the production is really high quality and it's just they're great instrumentalists and great players and i'm really excited for what they do from here and i'm excited to kind of delve backwards into their previous album and and they sent me a few other things an ep i believe and a live album so they have some stuff out there so please check them out on bandcamp this album is worth listening to it very well could place in one of my positions of my favorite albums of the year because i really have been enjoying it and find it to be really really expertly done so great job by the band i really love this album wanted to spotlight it on my show and I think it deserves that attention. So please check it out. If you like all those bands that I've been mentioning, they are in that same realm and this band deserves to be heard for fans of those bands. So thank you guys so much for your support, for watching this video. Hopefully you enjoyed the review. Please subscribe if you like what I'm doing here. And as always, like I like to say, please keep enjoying the music. So that's what it's really all about, is just enjoying the music you love. And that's what I'm doing here is sharing with you the music that I love to hopefully bring you even more enjoyment. So thank you guys so much and I'll catch you in the next video. So thanks. Bye.